First stop today is uh, Luang Prabang National Museum. So we've arrived. I'm gonna check and see how much the tickets are. We'll head inside. Unfortunately, we are not allowed to take pictures inside. So that's a bit of a bummer, but I will uh, give you a full report as soon as we're back. I want to give you a little bit of a report back. It's about a about 120 baht um, to get into the museum, so around 30,000 kip in local currency. It is um, a place that is filled full of artifacts, both that are relevant to the country's history in terms of Hinduism and Buddhism and their effect here, and also the monarchy, the monarchy and what their life was like. I guess the biggest problem is there isn't much explanation as you go around the facility. So they have little placards in there that kind of tell you very vaguely what the particular artifact is about or where it came from. It's almost like a side note that you would see in a book or something. But um, if you really want a good explanation, I would suggest that you go in with a guide. Um, I know that might cost extra, um, but it would be worth it if you are interested in the history, at least what they're allowed to say about the history of this area and um, and the deposition of the king and the politics and communism and America's role and the Japanese coming in and you know um, it, it is quite complicated but it has very real implications to what happens in this in this region today so yeah that was that would be my tip is to have a guide if you're not as interested in the history but you uh, want to see some beautiful historical artifacts like the paintings and the murals on the wall and um, the actual structures that they used to put on the backs of the elephants that they would ride during ceremonies or during war times. If that's the kind of thing that you're interested in, just walk through on your own and it, it will probably only take you, I guess, could, as, as quick as 15 or 20 minutes, but if, with a guide, can take as long as, as an hour. Make sure that your legs, arms, chests are covered before you go in and be aware that you won't be allowed to take any electronics inside. You'll have to leave your bag in a locker and have to take your shoes off before before going inside. As is true with many of uh, many important places, both here and and in the region. This one beside behind us, the we thought it was the temple. It was actually the king's library, and now it's the Prabang Buddha's. Hall. So there, I, you should check it out when you're here. It's good. What was your favorite part? Uh, my favorite part was that the the King and Queen's Hall, the Royal Hall, where the seat and yeah, the the walls are just so pretty with red ceilings and mosaics and all that. That's what my favorite is. To me, what is interesting is to see the blend between European, French architecture, the influence, and the way people were living, the royal family used to live. All right, so the second stop of the day is Wat Thong. It is considered the most beautiful temple in Luang Prabang.
are we and why are we here? Oh, okay, very good question. So we are in a very, very, very beautiful garden of Maison de la Bois Hotel. So this is a charming hotel and setting up around by the pond, Lotus Pond. So Maison is the house, house of the Lotus. Uh, the place is great because this is Long Pabang City, right? And then Long Pabang City it is well preserved for its pond uh, or reservoir. So you can see this is the, the very first ancient ponds of the town. So that's why we are here. Chill out, cat. What the hell? I'm trying to vlog. <laughs> 